My name is Gibran Isaias Lopez, but I go by an artist name, Isaias Crow. So I was born and raised in El Paso, Texas, and I live both in El Paso and in Juarez, Mexico. I would see my dad uh, do his paintings. He, he's an artist himself, and I would see him painting. So growing up, you know, four or five years old, I would see him painting, and I would that would uh, that really intrigued me and it motivated me to start painting myself. Yes, I am self-taught. Uh, till recently, I went to the Art Institute of San Diego and I got my uh, bachelor's degree in media arts and animation. It's not so much that I, I learned how to paint there, like I already knew how to paint, but it, 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 uh, I understood another medium, which is the digital realm. So even that, I'm fusing some of that with what I do with the traditional mediums, such as acrylics or oils. That 13, uh, I branched off. I branched off from um, uh, my, my mom and my dad divorced. I branched off to doing graffiti. And it, maybe it was because they got divorced. I think thinking back now, I think it was a way for me to like bend, you know, kind of like bend my expression, my, my emotions and ex express them that way. I started looking for a space where I felt like that I could fit in. Uh, I literally tried uh, churches, uh, I tried uh, circles just of different people. I just felt so lost, you know, I, I was like, dude, like, what, 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 what am I supposed to do? I just started doing graffiti and that felt so good, you know, I just started like, exp and I go by myself. I like to go by myself and just paint, you know, I would stay the night in downtown and, uh, and on top of a rooftop and just paint. I could have gotten about it very differently. And I know my father was one of the persons I kept telling him, like, yo, man, like, my father to this day doesn't own a car, so he walks through in El Paso, he would walk everywhere, and he would see me. He found out that my name was Kroll at the time, and uh, he told me, he's like, you know what, man, like, you're just ruining communities. Why don't you do something to give to the community instead of taking away? And I was like, whatever, dude. With time, he just kept whispering that in my ear, yo, man, like, remember, and then, and uh, finally clicked. Today, a lot, I'm heavily influenced by, by life, nature, uh, my friends. Pose 2, Chore Boogie, Work, Vile, Man 1. Those are the people that I, I really like their work. And, and I work with them. I know at times some of their work even rubs off on what I'm doing. But I'll, I'll see that and then I'll make sure that I'm, I'm expressing my voice and not somebody else's. The way I incorporate, or if I do incorporate the, my roots and my culture, really is because I'm painting what I see. So an example like this mural that's behind us, it's literally what I've been seeing. It has a lot of birds in it, but that's because what's around here. You know, there's a hawk. There's a hawk always up in the sky, like around here in PB. There's some parrots that I painted. They literally hang out here a lot. So I'm painting what I see, and that's really what I'm inspired by right now is just life, people. I'm intrigued by people. It's not just me doing these. It's, it's, a, it's a group I'm a part of. It's called the Prism Process. And that's what we do. The idea of the prison process is to create civic engagement through the arts and culture. Do more about like the environment, you know, not just my environment, but our environment, the environment, what's around us. These things that I think we take for granted at times, you know, like to me, if I see a bird flying around, I'm just so wowed by it. And um, people don't tend to look at that. You know, people tend to be like, so? Don't really look at it. Like stop and look at it. And then you see it like take flight and look at its wings. You see all these patterns. You see like how bright it is. Like past its exterior, you see the bird's interior and you see this like luminous light. That's fucking amazing. That's amazing. You know, like you really like start seeing something deeper. You know, I, just humbling my ego so that way I, I, I can then allow creativity to run through me. And if anything, I'm just being a vessel that's expressing onto the wall.